Okay, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. And last night I went out with a friend of mine, Athena. She's also a photographer in Victoria. And we tried to go get a long exposure photo of the city skyline because I've been wanting to try out the new Photoshop sky replacement tool. And I haven't done that yet. I've seen it being done on other YouTube videos. It looks really awesome. But yeah, I tried to get a long exposure photo for that tutorial. And two things, last night it started raining. Okay, so it's starting to rain now and the water is actually like landing on my lens, the glass of the lens, because I didn't bring my, my lens hood, which was dumb. But it's ruining the long exposures because like, when you expose the sensor for that long, all the, the water droplets on the lens just kind of blow up and ruin the photo, so. And I didn't have my lens hood with me, so the water got onto the lens and the droplets just, in the long exposure photo, I'll just throw it up. The photo is so bad it's shite, but the water got onto the lens, I couldn't get it off, and those droplets just blew up in the photo, so I couldn't use it. And then second of all, it was really cold. Like, it was insanely cold. Okay guys, so we didn't manage to get the photo at that bridge, but it is like so damn cold. My hands are numb holding the camera, and it's starting to rain a lot more now, so we're gonna head back home. My thumb straight up stopped working. I couldn't use it to press any of the buttons on my camera. So I just decided, screw this, let's just go home and I will find another photo to work with. So that's what I've done. I've pulled up a photo I took quite a while ago. It's probably my favorite photo I've ever taken, but we're gonna throw this into Photoshop and then we'll try and figure out how to use the sky replacement tool together. So I've opened up this photo in Photoshop here and yeah, it's the, the photo with the light trails on the car. I love this photo, but now we have to find the actual sky replacement tool and I think it's under edit, sky replacement, here we go. So yeah, that's all you do. Is it gonna load it up? Wow. Wow, that's actually crazy. So all you have to do is go edit, sky replacement, and then it'll instantly load up that photo. It'll automatically detect the sky and then throw in a new sky for you. So I'm, I'm assuming you can go through here and decide, wow, wow. Wow. Do they have any night ones? Sunset, okay, so they have blue skies, spectacular, and sunsets. So let's go ahead and pick one here. This is crazy, it automatically detects your sky and then just replaces it for you. And then there's a few settings here you can make. Shift edge makes it a little, Okay, so the edge will kind of overlap into the trees there. That is insane. Brightness. Oh, we can bring that down a little bit. Bring it up like that. That looks pretty good right there. Temperature and cool it down. Wow, <laughs> that is so awesome. Photoshop, well done. That is sweet. Okay, and then also if you click OK, it puts all your settings and all the adjustments you made into the sidebar there on the side, you can see that. And that is straight up amazing. I am mind blown right now. Even though that's not a night shot, or a night sky, sorry. That is still really amazing. Um, I wish they had night skies with stars and stuff. That would be really cool, but there you guys have it. That's basically how you use the new Photoshop sky replacement tool. It's really, really easy. They've made it really simple and then afterwards when you've clicked OK, it moves all of the adjustments you made into the layer tab, which is really helpful. So you can see what you've done. You can you can adjust it if you want to. And um, yeah, that's, that's really it. I guess this is a really short video. I didn't realize how easy it would actually be, but there you guys have it. So thank you guys for watching. I will be seeing you guys in the next one.